Okay, I hope you can see, because I can't really see the LCD on this camera. It's so bright out here. Yeah, you can see. I can see. Um, it's been a while since I've started these uh, lawnmowers, so I figured I'd go ahead and do that since it's uh, sort of warm out here. It's been since, at least since last year. This one here has been even longer. So, this one's kind of sitting here. It gets rained on a bit. I need to move all of this stuff. Let's see here. I need to move... In fact, I can do that. I need to move this over this snapper, and then I can move all this stuff sort of down. These mowers need some help. This is an uh, old snapper here. It's a 74 or 78, I don't remember. Anyway, I put this uh, yard machines engine on here, and it actually... It will run. Um, I gotta lubricate this. It will run. I've just gotta do. I yeah. I do have a blade on here even. But I need to do. I think the. Yeah. See, this is loose. I gotta get new bolts for the carburetor. And speaking of the carburetor, I need to get a whole new one. Um, and yeah, the primer bulb doesn't work anymore. The pump doesn't work. That's kind of just screwy. But if I got a new carburetor, this would run, or does run, and I gotta, I've, I've just got to figure out something to do with this, because this engine, of course, is newer. It's supposed to have a uh, one of those safety uh, handles with the annoying thing that you pull down, but it, it doesn't currently have that. Um, you know, this mower is old. It's just got a start-stop thing. It's supposed to be a speed control, but I'm not gonna get the speed control hooked up but I need to fix it so that you know with this I had it hooked up at some point I don't remember there's your air vein this is the kill wire I could just take this whole thing off and run a kill wire and have a kill switch up there I guess I don't know that's a project that I was playing around with and never actually did anything with this Murray mower here um, I don't know, that one's got a bunch of problems. But these other three run. So, this one here has been probably, um, this one hasn't been started since fall. Because I was using it to chop up leaves. So it's not been too long, so there is gas in there. Um... Hopefully that'll run. And I know I'll hear, oh, you should you you should uh, drain the gas. Yeah, I know I should. I should do a bunch of things that I... Oh, this damn gas cap. There are a bunch of things that I should do that I don't. There we go. Now this mower I got from a friend's neighbor. And I used it for a while. It actually runs okay. Uh, I don't know how old it is. There you go. It's got the brakes and scrap them uh, flathead engine. This is I, I really like these old flathead engines. They're very solid. Now this, look at this oil. People don't take care of their stuff. I got this mower and I haven't used it except for a couple of times since I got it. But this thing needs, uh, it needs a new oil. It, it needs a new oil. You, you understand. Hopefully. It's, it's black. It's very black. I wouldn't be surprised if this is like the break-in oil and nobody's ever changed it. Go. This thing's also kind of, uh, I don't think the, something's sort of bent. It's got a bit of a vibration to it, but it's not bad. Um, when I got it, the air filter was completely disintegrated. And it would not start because the air filter had been sucked into the carburetor after turning into dust. So... We put a new air filter on it and got that cleaned out. And she started, and I haven't really done anything since. 
So I'm going to go ahead and put you guys on a tripod and we'll start this, st hopefully start this up. I really like this style carburetor from Briggs and Stratton. These uh, these ones that sit on top of the tank like this because they don't have a float bowl, so you don't have a float bowl to get plugged up. So if you if your gasoline goes bad, you dump it out. Um, basically, maintenance on these is pretty easy. If you take care of them, they'll run. I've never had one of these engines that I couldn't get running. Now that Newer ones, of course I have. Those things are a pain in the ass. So, well, where my screwdriver fell on the ground. So we'll go ahead and give this guy a bit of uh, two-stroke fuel here. Come on. Get in there. Okay. If they haven't ran in a long time, I always like to give them a little bit of two-stroke fuel. Uh, lubricates that uh, that uh, piston in there, so that or the well, more the cylinder. Okay, I've tied down the annoying dead man switch thing here, so they don't have to hold on to it. And let's see, I think the primer pump on this one works. Let's see. Yep. Yeah. Although we should be good because I already gave it a bit of fuel there. Alright. Come on. This is heavy two-stroke fuel, too. It's not like 40 to 1, so maybe. I think I've got a whole bottle of oil in that little thing, so it's really thick. There we go. creating any pollution at all.
I just noticed that muffler was sort of rotating there and it was very loose so I just popped it off there um, I had to do that yeah this one runs pretty decent I got all these mower wheels here I forget I was gonna do something with them let me see if I can find one of them uh, see I got rid of all my parts mowers uh, for the most part here does this have one on it no I was going to see if I could get one of those uh, little cigar type mufflers that they used to use on Briggs and Stratton engines. I think those sound pretty good. <laughs> I was going to see how one of those sounded on there just for the hell of it. Uh, but I can't find one. Is there one on here? No. I don't believe I have one. No. Oh well. So it didn't it didn't give me too much trouble starting up there. Um You can see that I mixed that two stroke stuff really thick. Uh quite a bit of oil in there. It gets quite smoky. But that's fine. Let's go ahead and see about this uh, this here. This is an old snapper. I don't know exactly how old this is. Probably from the 90s, maybe early 2000s. Um, this one can be a bit of pain, bit of a pain sometimes. I need to clean it. It's got the old Quantum engine on it, and this one, unlike that other one, actually, it's getting time to change the oil because this this is last season's oil. I generally change it every year, and uh, which is enough because I split. I, I use three different mowers and I switch between the two, so it's not like I'm constantly using one. So, uh, here's the information on this one. Let's see, I think I left gas in here, too. Which, like I said, I know it's not great, but whatever. And this... This one's got all these things, like this is supposed to be a speed control and whatnot. It's got one of these weird chocomatic carburetors to auto choke and shit. And what I've got, I've got another put recoil here, which will allow for um, it will allow for the older style, or well, it's not necessarily older, but the regular carburetor with the primer bulb to fit on there. And I want to get one of those. I need to get, of course, I think a different air box too to make that work. But I'd much rather just use a standard, the standard type carburetor with the primer bulb on it. Now this one a lot of times doesn't want to start on first try. Ooh, that air filter's nice and clean there. Have to replace that, I guess, at some point. See, now the choke's closed, which is annoying. So I like to get this in there. Okay, let me tie the, uh, I don't know where that piece of little string I was using went. Okay, I got a wire. OK, 
Okay. Let's go ahead and try to start it here. Damn. I think it would start quicker since I've already sprayed some fuel in there. I think it's getting ready to. My, uh, my whole, the air vein, it's come off. The thing, you know, that controls the speed of the engine, it's just kind of floating around here. Let's see if I can get that tightened back down. Am I missing? Huh. What are a bunch of little linkages that are missing here? What the hell? I think I'm missing a linkage. Well, let's see how it does. Let's see what this does. Yeah, see this? needs to be... What the hell's going on here? This is the... That's working. But there's like... Okay, I'm confused. So, apparently I have a stick jammed in here. This is kind of loose, too. Apparently I have a stick jammed in here that I guess the governor's not... Something's not right there, basically. So I've got a stick jammed in there. And I guess depending on what angle you have that stick jammed in there at, it, uh... 
runs at a different speed. This is not the correct carburetor for this mower, by the way. It originally had a primer bulb type carburetor that was completely destroyed. Um, ethanol had eaten up like everything in there. So I, uh, I put this one on here to, to test it as a temporary fix and it's been like that for probably three years now. So I need to get the right thing because parts for these quantum engines are getting hard to find and I need to do that before I can't get it anymore. Uh, let me pause the video and I'll come back and we'll start the last one. Okay, I had to delete a couple of things off the camera because it was going to stop recording on me. And uh, let's go ahead and get this other one out. Now this one hasn't been started in quite a while, so I don't know if it's going to start. This is a screwy one. This thing's a pain in the damn ass. Um, so it's one of these recycler ones, which doesn't have a grass chute. It's just kind of supposed to chew it up and like throw it back down. But what actually happens, there's like a gap in between here, because this is where you would hook a bag, and I don't have the bag. But what actually happens is it goes through here, like this gap here. It all comes up and sits in here. And then you got to get it out of there. And you can see it all in here. Um, this engine's pretty decent. I might put it on another deck, but I don't really have another deck to put it on. I mean, I've got this, but it's kind of crappy. So I don't really have another good mower deck to put it on. I mean, a snapper there's already got an engine on it. I just got to fix that. And then this Murray here, I mean, the engine on there is fine, but this is a self-propelled one, so it's got a different size shaft on it. Um, the engine's okay. I don't have the, the, the cable on this broke, then I replaced it, then it broke again. So I've just kind of taken this, I removed the, uh, I didn't remove it, I just unhooked the spring that pulls this back. And I've sort of, this tab here is normally down here so that when this goes here, this tab touches that, grounds it out, and cuts off the the engine I just kind of bent this up so uh, that it's not not a kill switch so that it doesn't cut it off so it's kind of fit it's fixed to run all the time this one's got clean oil because I never use this one because it just it's aggravating um, I'm pretty sure this one will run I think this carburetor works but it leaks gas which I can't figure out I'm sure I can figure it out. Um, that air filters needs to be replaced, by the way. Um, see how simple these carburetors are? They have one linkage. It's great. Anyway, uh, okay, yeah, the, so the pumping thing on this one does work. This tank, I don't know if the tank's warped or what, but um, it seems to like to... Uh, Get in there, get on there. Like to leak gas around here. I, this is the governor spring right here, which is supposed to be on here. And I don't know why it's so bent up, but it is. So I'm probably gonna have to play with that. We might have to replace that governor spring on there. Obviously not gonna do that today. So to get this thing really working right, I need a new cable, but I also need to, uh, I need to, uh, seal that somehow so it's not spraying dirt all over the place. Yeah, the primer pump on this one works. 
but uh, I had one on here before that the primer pump didn't work. This is like a, uh, a sort of rebuilt, not rebuilt, but sort of cleaned out carb. But I think it it's screwy still. Plug wire on. Yeah, the plug wire's on. Eh, I'm not really concerned about lubricating this one. Because uh, it's not going to start without a bunch of gas. I don't know why, but this one doesn't start without a lot of gas. Can you still... Why is the camera gone so black? What the hell? What's going on here? This is aggravating. Is my camera breaking? What in the hell? <sighs> okay. So I don't know when that started cutting out like that. But that's annoying. I don't know why it started cutting out like that. The second I hit stop recording, it started working right. See, yeah, this one, you have to... This carburetor's screwy. And I cleaned it out. I put new diaphragm. I think that governor spring's part of our problem here. I seem to recall if you did that for long enough it would start running, but I don't know what the deal with this spring is, why it's so bent up like this. But I don't think I have another one at this point that I can really use. See, hold on, because it, I think I needed to go in the, it's screwy guys, it's screwy, hold on, get it going again, because I think, Yeah, so even when it's pulled all the way this way, it's not going to keep running. I need a new governor spring and a new carburetor. These plastic things are sometimes screwy.
See, I'm putting more tension on that spring, and it's not really... not really helping. Like, if I put this there so that it pulls harder... Put that there. That'll be too much tension. Yeah, this has popped it right off. Now that should be... That seems about right. But I still don't think that's going to work because this carburetor doesn't seem to be giving it enough gas for some reason. Well, I'll be dipped. That, uh, that seems to have helped. It's still surging a little bit. I don't think the thing's quite giving it enough, um, gas there. It, I think this is a Chinese carburetor. It's not a genuine Briggs & Stratton carburetor. And it ain't exactly right, because it does leak gas out of the, in between the tank and the, uh, in between the tank and the carburetor there and I've put a new diaphragm and gasket in there and it's still leaking I think I even tried putting the same carburetor I think I tried putting it on top of a different tank I had another tank somewhere I don't know where it went um, and yeah it was still leaking this goes to one of those newer ones I don't even know why the hell I'm keeping that huh. I wonder if I could use that for something. That cable, not the carburetor. Anyway, yeah, those are the two that I mainly use. Mainly that snapper. But that's just because I haven't had that one for very long. I'll probably end up using that one more though. I've got the air box right there, by the way. Because that one there um, is so much lighter weight. That five horsepower engine is quite a bit to lug around all the time. This one will be nice, but um, the fact that it just kind of sprays, every time you use it, you have to clean off a pile of grass that comes out from back, from in between here, and comes in here, and then it also comes from in between the engine here, which is weird. Oops, I, no, didn't mean to do that. Um. Yeah, I, I don't know. It like gets 
grass from in between the engine too, which is kind of strange. And then I can't figure out for the life of me, when I pick this thing up, let me start it up. I'm going to get it running again. And I'll demonstrate. Sometimes when you pick it up, like when you lift up the front wheels, like when you're turning it or stuff, it... Great. It's probably not going to start now. Look at that black shit coming out of the gas. Oh my god. That was in the gas tank? I haven't just mixed all my oil and gas, have I? No. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, there's no gas in there, so... I don't know why there's, like, blackness in the gasoline. It is old, but it's not that old. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, when you pick up the front end, if it's going to start now that everything's soaked because I flipped it upside down like a dumbass. I'm a professional bad example. Don't do that. Um, when I pick up the front wheels, it sounds like the blade's hitting, but when I flip it over and try to figure it out it's not even close to hitting anywhere so I don't know I think she's gonna start That's one of those elusive self-healing problems. Okay. Well, anyway. Point being, I use this one just enough to keep it running. But I don't really use it much. It's kind of a pain. Anyway. Um, I guess that's about it, because none of those other ones start. At least at this point. And that rototiller back there does run, but it's not going to start without some sort, some sort of starting fluid or stuff. I've tried it with pure gas; it just it doesn't work. Um, it will stay running on its own gas for a few minutes. But. I haven't gone through the carburetor or anything on that one. Now, why is this one got gas all over it? Oh, that's from when I was spraying the gas. That, 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 that's okay. It's not leaking. Let me put my air box back on this one. Yeah, I really like these flathead engines. All three of the mowers that I have that actually run all have these flathead brakes and scrap them engines. Even the newer ones like this, right before they quit making them, are pretty decent. The new, the new ones they make now with the... Oh yeah, I need to put this muffler back on. The new ones they make now with the carburetors that are plastic that sit under the, they're like a float ball type carburetor. They're plastic and they've got overhead valves and all that. They're smooth when they're running, but they're not very reliable. If you let them sit for more than a few weeks with the bad, with the same gas and without starting them, they get plugged up. Carburetors. Now, the one thing I will say about them is it's very easy to clean the carburetors on those, but it's a pain to have to take it off. Whereas these old ones here, with the flathead engine in this type carburetor, you can 
<laughs> hell, if the gas goes bad, you tip it on its side, dump it out, and uh, run it on starting fluid for a minute or so, and it'll start back up and run just fine. Can't say that for the newer ones. And then the uh, overhead valves have problems. I've seen two of them now that have had just bad valves from the factory. Uh, they ran a few times and then never ran again because they had bad valves from the factory. And although that is fixable and it's not really that hard, I don't... If an engine like one of these on something older fails from either you know, not being taken care of, or hell, it's just old, it's got a lot of hours on it, I'll fix it. But I'm not fixing some cheap Chinese piece of junk, and I know Briggs & Stratton isn't Chinese, but get, let's be real. Uh, some cheap engine, I'm not going to fix it if it broke simply because it's a piece of shit. Yeah, the two, one of those I've seen, they broke just, just because they're made poorly. It's not a great design, and that's not respectable. I'm not fixing that. Um, and then the other thing is uh, they're very easy. I had one that hit a rock. It wasn't even a large rock. And uh, the shaft was bent and it's like, no, I'm not even bothering. It, it, they're, they're just made like crap. I don't know. And even the ones, even the ones from like the 2000s are pretty decent. Um, I was gonna show this. This is the uh, this is a roto spader, a Sears roto spader, and uh, it's pretty cool. It's got like a trailer hitch on it. You can hook it up to your garden tractor, I guess. And this thing is heavy as shit. I think I bought this for like fifteen dollars a while back, and it does work. But I mean, none of these belts or linkages or anything work. I was just gonna pull the engine off of it. I gotta get this engine going again. It will start and run. You can hear it's got good compression. Um, and it starts and runs just fine. But uh, the carburetor's a little bit screwy. You gotta kinda choke it, but you gotta... I mean, it will start. This is a metal carburetor. Same type as on those other ones. This is also one of those weird auto-choking things that I'm not really a big fan of. This is your kill wire here. You can see it touches that tab and if you're not quick enough it'll shock the shit out of you. But <laughs> that's just the design of this. It also looks like it's developing an oil leak. Anyway, there you go. We started the mower.